right yeah, on. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on, it, on some of the Gear 360s. Yeah, get some decent resolution finally. Yeah. I love my Theta, but the video resolution is painful. I love the bubble cam, but it tends to be very finicky. I mean, after the, I was at the, the Google I.O. Uh -huh. and I heard the, the keynotes and stuff there. Whoa, 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 whoa. And um, af afterwards, when I went to charge it, I left it on the charger too long and sort of overcharged. And I had to wait two days for the thing to drain so that I could recharge it and reset it so that I could start using it again. So, so the last two days I couldn't use it. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, uh, the 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 Gear 360 has a removable battery so that, w I, mean, I mean, I've got this on a double... Um, a double cable plugged into the a charger over here on my on my hip. Okay. I mean, so that I can I can keep the I mean keep the the power going. That makes sense. Yeah, my theta runs out. But. Yeah. Th this thing will it'll last about 45 minutes on, on a single charge. creation for mobile virtual reality. Okay. And I'm also, I mean, showing off a new type of headset. Uh, I mean, this is a, a Google Cardboard type headset, but it's an all-in-one. Everything is built in so that you're you're not spending $700 for a phone, $100 for a headset. Yeah. I mean, to, I mean, to run it. Plus the fact that, I mean, I mean th this headset, you've got your USB and HDMI port here. Yeah. So that's not only a standalone system, you can also plug it into PC, Mac, game console, other computer, uh -huh. and use it as a true head mount display. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so that it's, it's a cross platform, I mean, what I refer to as a standalone hybrid. Yeah, yeah. But, that's I mean, th this will run about six hours on a single charge. Uh, I mean, ye yesterday, I mean, off and on, off and on, I, I mean, I got about eight hours out, out of it. And, um,. I mean, got Minecraft installed on here, showing Minecraft Pocket Edition in VR. Yeah. I mean, they they, they were they upgraded the, the VR, I mean, version a um, couple couple weeks ago, and I mean, I'm mean, ju just showing people that there's more to VR than gaming, and uh, I mean that VR doesn't have to be hideously expensive. I mean, currently this sells for about four hundred dollars. Yeah. Eventually, I want to get it down to about three, but it's cheaper than most smartphones. And at 1080p resolution, 1920 by 1080, it's higher resolution than, than most smartphones. And the people that I've shown this to, they say the optics are better than, I mean, than, than the Rift. Because you don't get any screen door effect. Have you used the Rift? Yes. The, the CV1? Yes. Go, go ahead and look, look around. Now, this, this is just a, a standard, I mean, App off of the Google Play Store. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, the the website. I mean, uh, as you can see, I'm media, and I mean my, my website's on the the flag on the back of my chair. It's the newsbubble.com. Check it out. Right on, man. But, I mean, yeah. I mean. I mean, the, the entire purpose of the, of the website, the newsbubble.com, is to promote, promote people making content for 
mobile VR. I mean, because VR is a lot more than just gaming. Yeah. And so I'm promoting digital makers. I mean, photographers and videographers and, and VR content creators. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Very cool, man. Yeah. All right. I got to head this way. I'll yeah. talk to you later. Nice, nice meeting you. you. I mean, I'm, I started up my 360 camera just so that I could record you. And oh, Fantastic, thank you. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and save this one. <laughs>